Now, now we'll study about the special cases which are used to see what will happen if uh, objects having same mass or if one object has more mass in, in the uh, elastic collision in one dimension. So let's study this now. So we earlier learned that the elastic collision one dimension we had like this way. There are two mass here, mass m1 and this mass was m2. Mass m1 was traveling with the velocity initial velocity u1, mass m2 was traveling with the initial velocity u2. Okay. u1 is greater than u2, so it will go hit the second object. Then after collision, m1 will travel here with a velocity v1 and m2 has a final velocity that is v2. Okay. Like this what happens here. And then we got the equations, do you remember? Okay. Equation number 5 and 6. Okay, let's write the equation number 5 and 6 one more time. So in this case, v1 is equal to m1 minus m2 divided by m1 plus m2 into u1 okay next is we have here plus 2 times m2 divided by m1 plus m2 into u2 okay this was the equation here this was the equation number 5 okay. let me rub it out so this is the equation number 5 Next, what we do is we must write the equation number 6. Okay. Let's see that now. So that is V2 is equal to, I told you to interchange this. Okay. This, this will come here. So that is 2 times M1 and the number, numbers also change. Divided by, again, M1 plus M2 okay. into U1. Instead of U2, we write as U1 plus this term. That is, here you must interchange. So M2 minus M1 by M1 plus M2 into this term is uh, u1 was here, okay. Instead of u1, you write as u2. Okay. This is the equation number 6. Okay. Now we'll see the special case one by one. Okay. Very simple only. Let's see the first case here. Case 1. Case 1 is if m1 is equal to m2, okay. both the mass are equal, okay. and then uh, we'll see what happens here. That means we have two objects here. Let me take this spherical ball okay and this one they are equal they have same mass okay so this is m1 will take and this is m2 m1 goes hits m2 okay both are moving let's see what will happen both have equal masses there so let's study this now okay let's substitute this values in this equation okay. you substitute uh, m1 is equal to m2 here so what we get is v1 is equal to inserting m1 minus m2 both are equal now so you get here 0 by Okay. m1 plus m2 will let us to m1 itself will write here into u1 plus this is 2m2 okay so write here 2m2 itself and then we saw m1 is equal to m2 so write as m2 itself m2 plus m2 will be 2m2 into u2 okay so what happens is this term becomes 0 okay. plus the second term if you see here 2m2 by 2m2 cancels so we get here u2 so we get here v1 is equal to u2. Okay. That's what we get here. That is okay for v1. Now let's see for v2. Okay. V2, again you substitute m1 is equal to m2 in this equation here. Let's see this now. So what we get here is 2 times m1 by here m1 plus m2. Instead of m2, you write as m1 itself. Okay, so m1 plus m1 is 2m1 okay. into u1 plus here m2 minus m1 the term becomes 0 okay so we can write as 0 itself okay because numerator becomes 0 everything becomes 0 okay into u2 so what we get is 2m1 2m1 cancels so we get here u1 this term plus 0 okay so we get here v2 is equal to u1 that means what okay. after collision the velocities will interchange okay so this has velocity u1 this is initial velocity u2 after collision what happens is this will have the velocity that is uh, u2 and this will have u1 okay so velocities will interchange both the velocities interchange interchange will happen okay so the velocity of the first one is initial velocity is u1 this is initial velocity u2 after here collision what happens they will interchange okay so this will have velocity that is u2 this will have velocity that is u1 okay that's what you can see from this equation here now we'll go to the case 2 okay let me erase this okay now we'll go to case 2 in case two also we see m1 is equal to m2 okay. if mass of the first one m1 is equal to m2 and we have here u2 is equal to 0 that means the second object is at rest okay. the second object 
is at rest. So if this is the case, let's see what will happen. Okay. So like at this frame, we have two balls here. They will go hit each other. M1 is equal to M2. But in this case, second object is at rest. This is at rest and this first one goes hit the second one. Okay. What will happen? That will study now. So let's substitute this in the equation and see. Okay. For V1, okay. M1 is equal to M2. So this term, okay, M1 minus M2 become 0 because both are equal. So 0 into U2 plus, sorry, U1 plus this one. You see here that is 2 times M1 by here. So 2 times M2. 2 times m2 by m1 plus m2. Okay, that m1 and m2 both are equal, so write as m2 plus m2. That is 2m2. 2m2 into u2. u2 we got here, that is 0. Okay, so this term, first term is 0, the second term also is 0. So 0 plus 0 is 0. So v1 is equal to 0 in this case here. The first object will stop. Okay, let's see to second object what happens. We'll see for v2. Okay. Again, substitute here in this equation 2 times m1. Okay. Write to m1 itself into or uh, divided by okay, uh, m1 plus m2. You write as m2 is m1. It's, right, instead of writing m2, you write as m1. So m1 plus m1 will come as 2m1. So 2m1 into u1 plus the second term m2 minus m1. That is 0. Okay, so second term fully will become as 0. 0 into u2 also is 0. Okay, because m2 m1 both are equal, it will become 0. And u to the is 0. So 0 to 0 is 0 only. Okay. So this and this cancels. So we get here u1. Okay. v2 is equal to u1. That means the initial velocity of, uh, of the first object will be the final velocity of the second object. Let's see this now what happens here. So the two ball, okay. So this one has an initial velocity u1. This has an initial velocity 0. Okay. u2 is 0. We see this. Okay. They hit each other. After hitting what happens, first object will stop. The second object will start moving. That's what you can understand from this two equations. Okay. Now we'll go to case three. Let me rub the board. Okay. Now let's study the case three now. Okay. In case three, first object is very lighter the same. Okay. Case three. Okay. If the first object is very lighter, or you can say very light. Okay. First object is very light. Okay. And the second object is at rest. And the second object is at rest. Okay. What will happen in this case we will study now. Okay. That is M1 is very much less than M2. Okay. This one condition is wrong. Then let her come out here. Then M1 by M2 it is very much less than 1. Okay. That we can take as 0. So M1 by M2 it is approximately equal to 0. So what does it mean? And then one more thing. Okay. And u2 is equal to 0. That means the second object is at rest. Okay. This means that the second object okay, is at rest. The second object is at rest. So what does it mean? First object is very light. Okay, let me take this small ball here. This is the first object. And this is the second object here. Okay. The second object is at rest. The first object goes and hits the second one. Okay. This has mass m1, this has mass m2. The second object has Initial velocity u2 that is 0. This first object has an initial velocity u1. It goes hits the second one. Okay. Let's see what will happen in this case here. Let's substitute the values and see. Okay. Substitute for v1. Okay. I written it small. So let's see this for v1. Okay. v1 is equal to. Now what we do is. Uh, one step we must write. That is you divide, divide the numerator and denominator of this equation 5 by m2 here. Okay. Let's divide and see here. So divide the numerator and denominator of equation 5 is equation 5 by m2. Let's divide this and see here what we get here. So first one, I'll take this v1 equation. v1 is equal to m1. Okay, so we have here m1 by m2 minus this will be m2 by m2 is 1. Okay. 1 here. Now again denominator m1 by m2 will come here. So m1 by m2. Okay. And then m2 by m2 is 1. So plus 1 will happen here. Into u1 plus the second term here. 2m2 by m2 will come as 2 only. Okay. 2 by 
and here m1 by m2 so m1 by m2 and then plus m2 by m2 is 1 plus 1 here into u2 okay and one more thing we saw that is m1 by m2 is nearly 0 so m1 by m2 where this comes you write as 0 okay so we get here 0 minus 1 divided by 0 plus 1 okay into u1 plus this term 2 by 0 plus 1 into u2 okay so this will come as what minus 1 by 1 is 1 minus 1 okay minus 1 into u1 is minus u1 the second term you see that okay and u2 we saw that is 0 so the right is into 0 second term becomes 0 okay so we get here v1 is equal to minus of u1 okay this is what we understand this for this first object what happens to velocity of the first object now we'll go for the second object now let me erase about here note down okay now for second equation divide the numerator and denominator of equation 6 by m2 okay so let's divide this and see here so we get here v2 is equal to this term divide by m2 here okay we here 2 times m1 by m2 divided by here m1 by m2 will come here m1 by m2 plus m2 by m2 is 1 okay into u1 plus the second term here that is m2 by m2 is 1 okay minus m1 by m2 okay divided by this term m1 by m2 will come here m1 by m2 plus here will come as m2 by m2 is 1 okay into u2 u2 is what u2 we saw that is 0 okay so now let's see what will happen here so we get here we saw this 2 times m1 by m2 was 0 okay if this is 0 everything becomes 0 here so 0 into u2 will happen here okay. plus the second term also is 0 0 into this is 0 so we get here 0 plus 0 that's equal to 0 okay. so we get here v2 is equal to 0 okay. we also saw that in this case v1 is equal to minus u1 okay. so we saw here so what does it mean so after this first object goes hits the second one. Okay, this goes. This is here. This is the first object. It goes hits the second one. Okay, then what will happen to the uh, initial velocity or the final velocity of the first one, v1? It will go this side. It will go in the opposite direction. Okay, that's what it's saying here. v1 is equal to minus u1. That means it will go in the opposite direction. And second object here, v2 is there now. It will be at rest. Okay. For example, we'll take the example here. I'll take this. Not even two balls here. I'll take this ball and the wall. Okay. The second object is at rest. I'll throw the ball on the wall, you will go hit this and come back. Okay. So that's what you can understand from this thing. So V1 is equal to minus U1, it will rebound. Okay. So it's like this way. We have a ball, it goes, hits the wall here. Okay. So it will come back. Okay. So, so it will have initial velocity U1 and final velocity V1 is equal to minus of U1. That means it will reverse the direction. Okay. The object wall has final velocity that is V2 is equal to 0. It will not move anywhere. Okay, that's what you understand from this case 3. Next we'll see case 4. Now let us study the case 4 here. Very simply. Okay. In this case the second object is very much lighter. Okay. The second object is very much lighter. So let's see what is it. Okay. That's the case 4. You let me take that and show you. So now we have terms like this. Way. Okay. So this is the second object and this is the first object. The second object is very small, the big, first object is big. Okay. The first object will go hit the second object. Let's see what happens here. In this case, second object is at rest. Okay. So first object goes hit the second object. What will happen? We'll study now. So in this case, we saw second object is very much lighter. That means the mass m2 is very much less than the mass m1. Okay. Then we also see that the mass m2 by m1 okay, it is very much less than 1. Okay. So this term we must know. Then one more thing we see that uh, m2 by m1 okay, that is equal to or approximately equal to 0. In this case the second object u2 is at 0. That means it is at rest. Okay. So what does it mean? Okay. The second object here this is has mass m2 this at rest it is at rest. Okay. The second object is at rest here and the first object is moving. Okay. So first object goes hits the second object. That is what we see here u2 is 0 that means the second object is at rest 
So now what we do, we divide e the numerator and de denominator of equation 5 by, in this case, m1. We will divide by m1 and c here. Okay. So divide the numerator and denominator, denominator of equation 5. Equation 5 by in this case m1 okay divide by m1 and c here. So what we get here is v1 in okay, divide by m1 here. Okay, so the numerator we get here m1 by m1 is 1 minus in this case m2 by m1. So m2 by m1 divided by so here m1 by m1 is 1 okay, plus in this case m2 by m1. So m2 by m1 into u1 plus this will be 2 times m2 by m1 so 2 times m2 by m1 divided by in this case m1 by m1 that is 1 plus m2 by m1 so that is m2 by m1 into u2 okay. so u2 we know that is 0 okay. so into 0 so second term will vanish away okay. we are left with the first term only so first term what is it 1 minus and we saw m2 by m1 is nearly 0 so this term will become as 0 here okay so 1 minus 0 by here again 1 plus m2 by m1 is 0 so 0 here into u1 so 1 minus 0 is 1 again okay. 1 plus 0 is 1 so 1 by 1 is 1 only so 1 into u1 will be u1 okay and here we get here v1 is equal to u1 okay so final result of the first one will be not changing okay so in this case the second object is very small. The first object here, it goes, hits the second object like this way. When it hits here, the final velocity of the first object will not change. Okay. It will keep on going with the same speed. Okay. Now we will see what happens to the second object now. Okay. That we will study here. Let me erase the board on the right side. Note this uh, equations down. Okay. Now we will see what is the uh, second equation for V2. Okay, let's start it now. So divide the numerator and denominator of equation. Now in this case 6 here. Okay, by m1. So what we'll get we'll see here. So v2 is equal to so this term 2m1 by m1. That will come as m1 by m1 will divide, we'll get here 2. Okay, so get here 2 by in this case here m1 by m1 that is 1 plus m2 by m1. So m2 by m1 into u1 plus the second term here m2 by m1 minus m1 by m1 is 1 divided by in this case here m1 by m1 that is 1 okay, plus here m2 by m1 m2 by m1 and then into u2 u2 we know that is 0 okay, for this example okay. so now the second term will become 0 here let's see the first term here so we will get here 2 times Okay, divided by 1 plus m2 by m1 we know that is consume so that is 0 okay, into u1 so it is 2 by 1 into u1 okay, that comes to be 2 times u1 okay, so v2 is equal to 2 times u1 so the final list of second object will be twice that of the first object let's start it now and see here okay, so I have the two balls here okay, this is the second object and this is the first object so if first object goes here to the second one the first object's velocity will not change. It will keep on going same speed. But the velocity of the second object, okay, that will be twice that of the first object. So if you see in this uh, horizontal direction, it's a little difficult to see it. But now let's see in the vertical direction. I'll keep two balls like this way. Okay. The second object is at rest. The first object will go down. It will go hit the floor. Then again it will come back. Okay. You can try it home and see. Okay. So that time the second object will fly very fast. Let's see that now. I'm holding both the ball here. Like this. Let me leave it. Okay. Will happen. Let me try it one more time. Okay. Let me try it one more time here. I will leave both balls here. Okay. So that the second ball flow will be much higher. Okay. So the velocity of second object will be two times that of the first object. Okay. So this is about the special case here. So we saw this is about the elastic collision in one dimension. Okay. Thank you for watching.